if we have the political will to take all these new technologies and the wealth and abundance they create and, and distribute these across our society and in the first world countries and also across the whole world, then of course, I mean, the sky's the limit. We can solve all kinds of problems, but we will have to have the political will to do that. And, and I don't see a whole lot of evidence for it right now. There really is enough already for everybody, certainly to have an adequate life, if not uh, a life of super, super abundant. So, you know, I don't think that the, the introduction of more labor-saving devices or more is, is really going to make any difference in that. The reason there are poor people is because there's rich people. You're simultaneously making a lot of people almost completely useless while generating a lot more wealth and value than ever before. So I worry about this. I worry about this chasm between the super rich and the poor. The ultra rich, uh, if, if, they re if they're representative of some of the people we see in Silicon Valley, I really, really worry because I wonder if they really have a soul. I, really, I wonder if they really have an awareness of how regular people feel and if they share the values of humanity. I, it really bothers me that you have this ultra rich that is out of touch with regular people, with, with humanity. This is being filmed right now in San Francisco, which is, by all accounts, one of the wealthiest cities and most advanced cities in the world. And it's pretty much ground zero for this technological revolution. And yet, as I came here, I almost tripped over homeless people sleeping on the sidewalk. That is the reality of today's economy and today's society. In a very real sense, we already live in the economy of abundance, and yet we have not solved this problem. I think the future for the four billion poor people in the world is actually a very good one. We've seen the, the amount of food in the world, for example, is more than doubled in the last 25 years. That's likely to continue. Uh, worldwide, we're seeing massive uh, economic growth. That really means that people in poor countries um, today will be much better off in the future. So there'll still be some poor people, relatively speaking, but compared to today's poor people, they'll be actually quite well off. I think it, this is an amplifier for inequality. It's going to make what we see now much more amplified. The number of people that are doing really well in the economy, I think, is likely to continue to shrink. Those people that are doing well will do extraordinarily well. But for more and more people, they're simply going to find themselves in a position where they don't have a lot to offer. They don't have a marketable skill. They don't have a viable way to really earn an income, or in particular, middle class income. We should value the fact that we can spend more time doing human work and the, the, the robots will get on and increase the economy. They'll be still taking all the resources and converting them into material goods at very low cost. So the economy will expand, we'll be better off, and we can concentrate on what matters. There's nothing to worry about in there.